everyone, if you consider the module people, development and environment, one of the most important topics that you need to consider there is pollution uh, and the way these pollutants and their the, the impacts of pollution as well. So considering pollution as a broader term, we have a lot of areas to consider under that. So we have different types of pollution, which includes air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution, then we have a land or soil pollution, all these types are important. And under each of these types of pollution, we have a lot of concepts or a lot of ideas to discuss on. So specifically, if you consider water pollution, what are the ideas that you need to study uh, under this from a net point of view? So first and foremost, we need to identify the various pollutants uh, that can be considered as a means uh, of water pollution. Then we have this waterborne diseases, then point and non-point sources is important, BOD, that is again a very important topic that you have to consider there. So out of these uh, many topics that we need to study under water pollution, in this session we are particularly focusing on the topic point and non-point sources. So if you consider the different sources from which the, these pollutants are released into the water bodies, we can categorize them into two different groups. We have point sources as well as non-point sources. So what is the difference between these two? So point sources are basically uh, these uh, points or uh, these areas or this specific sources from which we can identify the pollutants uh, which are released to the water body. That means these are these point sources are definite or specific definite sources that can be uh, identified as specific sources that actually release pollutants into the water bodies. So point sources release pollutants from discrete conveyances such as a discharge pipe and are regulated by federal and state agencies. So if you consider these point sources as specific identifiable sources, what are the various examples that you can consider there? Of course, factories is an example, then sewage treatment plants. So these are definite identifiable sources. So we can see certain discharges coming out of the discharge pipes that are located in factories and CV treatment plants. So we can identify, okay, this particular pollutant is released from this particular source. So if you can identify a source as such, we can call it as the point source. So these are discrete conveyances. So these are specific identifiable sources. So a few examples that you can remember here is uh, this uh, factories, the discharges that are coming from factories and also from sewage treatment plants. So if point sources are specific identifiable sources, then what do you mean by non-specific sources? So non-point or non-point sources, non-point source pollution is a combination of pollutants from a large area rather than from specific identifiable sources such as discharge pipes. So what do you mean by non-point source pollution? We already said that point sources means these are sources which can be identified which can be specifically identified as sources. But we can consider or we have other uh, means through which these pollutants comes to the water bodies also. So those kinds of combination of pollutants that are coming from a large area and we cannot identify the specific source. In that case, we can call it as non-point source pollution. So non-point source pollution is a combination of pollutants from a large area rather than from specific identifiable sources such as discharge pipes. So one of the most important example that you can consider here is of course runoff. So what do you mean by this runoff? Runoff is basically uh, the portion of rainfall that actually runs over the agricultural lands uh, and then these water or these streams uh, comes into the water body. So these kinds of runoffs that comes from the various parts uh, that means after rain a lot of water coming from different places and it comes or it streams into the water bodies right so those kinds of uh, or that can be called as runoffs and this is again a very important source of pollutants or a very important source through which these pollutants come to the water bodies. So if you consider runoff as an example, we cannot specifically say from where these pollutants are coming from because this runoff is coming from various parts, various areas. It covers various areas and then it uh, streams to the water bodies. So we cannot say that from where this particular pollutant is coming from, right? So those kinds of uh, examples or those kinds of sources can be identified as 
non uh, source or non source pollutant or non point sorry non point uh, source pollution okay so runoff is generally associated with non point source pollution as water is emptied into streams or rivers after accumulating contaminants from sources like gardens parking lots or construction sites so what happens here is in non point source pollution we said that runoff can be considered as an example so what happens in runoff these water is coming into or this water is emptied into the streams or the water bodies after accumulating a lot of pollutants that this runoff is actually streaming through various areas it goes through the gardens it goes through the parking lots it can also goes through the construction sites and after all this this particular water or this runoff is coming to the water bodies so it contains a lot of contaminants from various areas from a large area so we cannot say that from where this particular contaminant or from where this particular pollutant has reached this water body so that kind of pollution can be called this non point source pollution so if you consider water pollution we can divide or we can categorize it into two different types we have point source pollution as well as non point source pollution in point source pollution what happens is like we can identify there is a specific source from which we can identify okay this pollutant reaches the water body from this particular so so if you can consider it in that way we can call it as point source pollution and we have considered a few examples factories is an example the sewage treatment plant can be considered as an example and on the other hand we have non point source pollution as well so what happens in non point source pollution in non point source pollution we cannot identify or there is not a specific identifiable source from which we can say okay this pollutant comes from this source that cannot be possible because uh, if you consider the example runoff for for as an example here uh, we said that if you consider runoff it actually uh, taking contaminants from various areas it runs through different uh, areas and it uh, takes off contaminants with it from gardens parking lots construction sites and all that so we cannot say that okay this particular contaminant is taken from this particular source we cannot specifically identify the source so in that manner or if the, if the pollution or the contaminants reaches the water bodies in that manner we call it as non point sources okay so if you got the idea about what uh, about are the differences between point and non point sources and also if you identify the examples now we can go to some of the previous year questions that will really help you to understand this particular concept in the next point of view okay
this is a question that was asked in December 2022 NET exam and the question goes like this, it's a statement question. So statement 1 says it is relatively easier to monitor and regulate water pollution caused by non-point sources than point sources and statement 2 says non-point sources of water pollution may be fairly uniform and predictable throughout the year. So if you consider statement 1, it says that it is relatively easier to monitor and regulate water pollution caused by non-point sources than point sources. Is that a right statement? We said that in a point sources, we can definitely identify the source from which this particular pollutant is reaching this water body. So it's much more easier to regulate and monitor point sources than non-point sources. In non-point sources, we cannot see that from where this particular contaminant or from where this particular pollutant is reaching this water body. So it's not that easier to monitor as well as regulate non-point sources. But in this statement, it says that it is relatively easier to monitor and regulate water pollution caused by non-point sources than point sources. So in that manner, we can, we can say that statement 1 is incorrect. Statement 2 says non-point sources of water pollution may be fairly uniform and predictable throughout the year. Is that true? Again, it's incorrect right so non-point sources we already said in non-point sources we cannot identify from where this contaminant or from where this runoff is coming from if in ex if you consider the example runoff as such so in that manner we cannot uh, predict from where we can uh, identify from where this non-point uh, sources of water pollution happens and it is unpredictable and also it is not uniform as well in entire air it's not like we even we cannot even consider we can cannot even identify this uh, the source as such so we cannot say that it is uniform and predictable throughout the year in that manner both these statements that are given in the question are incorrect or false so in that way we can consider option b as the right answer both statement one and statement two are false so the right answer is option b Moving to the next question, this was asked in December 2020 and June 2021 merge cycles and the question goes like this. Point sources of water pollution are and they have given us several examples or options and from which we need to identify uh, point sources of water pollution and we can go through the option it says that underground coal mines, runoff from farm fields, sewage treatment plants, runoff from roads and construction sites and power plants and we have various combinations given here as well. So we already uh, consider runoff as an example for uh, non-point sources and in the question we need to identify the examples that can be associated with point sources of water pollution in that manner right in that point itself you can eliminate these two options runoff from farm fields runoff from roads and construction sites so if you can eliminate these two options then we have underground coal mines sewage treatment plants and power plants all of these three are specific points that can be identifiable as sources of water pollution. In that manner, we can see that ACE can be considered as point sources of water pollution and runoff from farm fields, runoff from roads and construction sites can be considered as examples for non-point sources. In that manner, ACE will be the right uh, answer. ACE only is option B, so the right answer is option B itself. So in this video, we have discussed about point and non-point sources uh, of water pollution. So as I have already mentioned in the beginning, we have a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, topics to cover under water pollution. I have mentioned a few among them. So you can just go through those uh, ideas or those topics as well. So in this session, we have particularly focused on point and non-point sources. So I hope you got a very good idea about uh, this particular subtopic that we need to consider under water pollution. So this kind of an approach is very important when you are learning for paper one you should you should have to understand what you need to learn what you need to focus on in what perspective you have to deal with it so this kind of a strategy is what actually gives you a very effective preparation so if you want to join apple b uh, for this kind of a training or this kind of a coaching you can actually contact to the number that is given below so we are providing online as well as offline courses so you can contact to the number that is given and you can just inquire about our courses as well so thanks for watching and happy learning.